Welcome. I'm your host, Jesse Sawyer, nationally recognized inclusive fitness trainer, silver sneaker flex instructor. You can find out more about me. Visit my website at www.jessieswear.com. And today I have a sit to stand exercise for that older adult, um, that loved one in your life, that senior that's aging, or for those silver sneaker instructors that want to teach a sit to stand for those individuals that they see that come to them cl their class and struggle with getting up. Now, when I say getting up, in this day, in this age, we have couches that um, are more plush. And when you get into that chair, I notice my mom, she struggles to get up more from those couches. Uh, in class, I notice individuals, they struggle with getting out of their chair without having to push off um, another chair or utilize a banister or use a mobility device and the sit to stand is an exercise that's going to allow you to maintain independence and quality of life longer in your life and it is probably the number one reasons why individuals use or lose their independence and have to use some form of assistant living as they age is because they lose that mobility. They lose that strength. They lose that balance. So sit to stand exercise with Bentley interrupting me as usual. Let's throw that toy. I'm going to grab a kitchen chair. I'm going to grab a lower table. If I'm at PT, I'm going to utilize their stretching table. And as you can see, Bentley has a problem of jumping up on these chairs and going after our food at times as well. But for demonstration purposes, I'm going to turn it so that you can see exactly what I'm doing. Now I'm gonna have that seat in that chair or in that low level table, and I'm going to sit on that edge. I want my feet to be in a 90 degree position, but they don't have to be in a 90 degree position, all right? Those knees can be um, over those toes a little bit. It's not going to create any harm or discomfort unless you have discomfort on those knees. You want to sit nice and tall. Shoe wear, I know I'm wearing my Uggs. I'm trying to still get that sponsorship. But you can do this flat footed. You can do this in a nice athletic pair of shoes. I wouldn't suggest heels or flip flops due to having to get up and down from this seat. But a sit to stand is simple. Get on the edge of this chair. I'm going to throw this toy one more time. Nice and tall, tuck the belly, tuck the tailbone. And we want to place those hands on those thighs as we ascend and then descend. And we don't want to utilize the banister. We don't want to utilize a end table. We don't want to utilize any form of assistance to get up. We want to utilize our own strength. We want to utilize our core. We want to utilize our hamstrings. We want to utilize our quads. We want to utilize our glutes in this position. So you're going to ascend and then you're going to descend. Ascend, and then descend. And the goal is to be able to really control this motion. Descending back down, nice and easy. You can put your hands out to the side. You can let them rest on those thighs. But the real key is for those back of the knees not to touch that chair or that lower table because that's going to give you greater support, and we're trying to remove that support, we want you to utilize the hamstring, the quads, the glutes, the, the core, the spinal rectus to be able to get up without any form of assistance. And if you place the back of your legs up against the table or the chair, it's adding support. It's giving you assistance. And we're trying to remove that assistance. And by removing that assistance, it's going to allow you to stay away from those assistant living places as you age. If you want to make this a little harder, add a weight, add a dog, add a grandchild, and it's going to increase the intensity. But for starters, choose a number of sets and work on ascending and descending in a controlled position and subscribe to this channel. Peace, my friend.